Let's take a look at some solutions to the questions in checkpoint test 1. Question 2c. p squared is equal to 2p. This is a quadratic equation. It's quadratic because we have a p squared that isn't going to minus with another p squared, so we're going to be left with a p squared in our equation. And therefore, because it's a quadratic equation, we need to minus 2p from both sides so that we can equate it to 0. We then need to see what the factors were that we multiplied to give us p squared minus 2p. And because if a number multiplied by another number is 0, we can conclude that either the one factor is 0 or the other factor is 0, which gives you an answer of p is equal to 2. One of the potential places to make a mistake is you must never be tempted to divide both sides of the equation by p. Because in an equation, if you do that, you can see that you just get p equals to 2. By dividing by the p, you've actually eliminated the solution of p is equal to 0. So in an equation, we never ever divide by the variable. So if you made that mistake, that is where you went wrong with this equation. Question 2e, it's also a compound inequality, but it's an all situation, so we need to solve each side separately. So we've got r plus 3 is less than negative 3, or 2r is greater than 8. To get r by itself, we minus 3 from both sides. Minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6. And in this inequality, we divide both sides by 2. Because we are dividing by a positive number, our inequality sign continues to face the same direction. So that means, if we now want to put that into interval notation, we're going to have two intervals. R is smaller than negative 6, means all the numbers that are less than negative 6. So it will start at negative infinity, and the biggest number in the interval will be negative 6. Because it's just less than, the negative 6 gets a round bracket. It's an all situation, so we'll have the union of two intervals. So the second interval will be r is greater than 4. So 4 will be the smallest number in that interval. Also gets a round bracket because it's just a greater than sign. And it will go to infinity, which will also get a round bracket. Question 4. Solve for r in the equation a is equal to pi r squared and r is greater than 0. So if we want to get r by itself... The first step is to divide both sides of the equation by pi. So that gives us r squared is a over pi. And then to find value of r, we square root both sides and we get r is equal to the square root of a over pi. Because we were told that r is greater than 0, we are only interested in the positive square root of, of, of that value. And then finally, question 5. Two consecutive positive even numbers have a sum of 166. Find the numbers. Okay, so there's some important words here. Consecutive means following. So it's two numbers that follow each other one after the other. Positive means that they have a positive symbol. And even, if we think of our even numbers, they are numbers like 2, 4, 6, 8, etc etc okay so we are looking for two consecutive positive even numbers all right and if we think about an even number if you look at all the even numbers they are all multiples of two so if i want to represent an even number in general terms i can represent it as being 2x if i have if x is any number the moment i multiply it by 2 I get an even number as my answer. If x is 1, 2 times 1 is 2. If x is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. My answer will always be even. So my first even number will be 2x. The even number that comes after this one will be 2x plus 2. Because every even number is 2 away from the previous one. I add 2 to get from one even number to the next. So I am told here that two consecutive even numbers have a sum, so if I add them, they have a sum of 166. So 2x plus 2x is 4x, 4x plus 2 is 166, minus 2 from both sides gives you a 4x to be 164, 
164 divided by 4 is 41. Okay, so we were asked to find the numbers. We weren't asked to find x. Remember that my numbers were 2x and 2x plus 2. So 2x will be 2 times 41, which is 82. And 2x plus 2 will then be 82 plus 2, which is 84. So the two numbers are 82 and 84. And if you add them, 82 and 84, you get 166. So that is a way that we can check that we've got the correct answer.